Okay, GQ's 34 most stylish suits for any occasion, part two. This pale blue suit from Oliver Brown next. It's around about 600 pounds, so it's quite steep. Right, it's a great summer look with really soft shoulders and a very relaxed feel about it. At number 19, they've gone for this French connection suit. 300 pounds, but I'd swear of it. As you can see, there's not a lot of care given to the sleeves. The lapels are a little bit meh. The length of the jacket's too high. The trousers are quite nice though. Next, we have this summer suit from Fendi. It's gonna set you back around about 2,000 pounds. I don't think it warrants that, but the cut's actually quite nice. At just under 2,000 pounds, this is Prada suit. In terms of design and quality, you can't really go wrong with Prada, but it's a lumpy outlay. For under 100 pounds, this is brown suit from H&M. The quality is not gonna be great, but it's a pretty good deal, and at least it's something a little bit different. This gray wool double-breasted suit from Loewe next. It looks super warm, super comfortable, and I do like that it's a little bit different. I mean, a double-breasted jacket is the epitome of dressing up and basically sweatpants, which is dressing down. All in all, it's going to set you back around £2,500, which is obviously a lot. At least it's something a little bit different. Next up is Mark Darcy. I don't know much about the tailors, and to be honest, I'm not really a lover of this, but it is relatively cheap, uh, under £300. It's chalk stripe suit from Drake's next. Drake's is one of my favourite brands. You've got guaranteed quality. got a very English style with Italian elements to it. And it will cost you about £1,400 for these two. But in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's a good deal. Awesome and Curtis next with this ostentatious number. I like the cut of it. It's very clean. You've got a heritage brand to go along with it. It's around about 600 quid. ASOS Design next. It's a brand that I would avoid personally. It's super cheap. It's around about 170 quid. But you're not going to get good quality. For the more alternative among you, this is a Saint Laurent Paris pinstripe suit. I've got to say, for the certain type of look, it really works but it will set you back around about three thousand pounds we've gone for this cream beigey moss boss suit next for just under 200 pounds it's a pretty good deal and it's quite nice not enough people know about this brand husband's paris are Parisian tailors who specialize in this 70s aesthetic the quality is unreal but it comes with a price the suit altogether will be around about 1300 pounds which is a lot but you're getting a really nice suit and number 31 this black prada suit I don't think you've really seen much here, but the detail's quite nice. I really like these high-waisted, slim trousers, but it's probably one of the most expensive in the list at about £3,400. Me too, they've gone for this Drake's chalk pinstripe suit again. It's not my list, don't blame me, but I think this is the same one. At number 33, this classic Kinsman of Savile Row double-breasted suit. This is the epitome of Savile Row and that gentleman feel. Kingsman, of course, was made for the film Kingsman and is based out of Huntsman on Savile Row. And then lastly, we end on this Gucci suit. I don't know if you can see it, it's got some weird patterns in there. Not sure about that. The suit altogether is £2,300. So there we have it. 34 suits, all different.